Hello, Empowered Nation. Welcome back to Empower Her Money podcast. I am your host, Angela Duncan, and today's episode is sponsored by Free Money Tips for Women.com. Again, that website is Free Money Tips for Women.com. Head over there and sign up. Currently, there is a free ebook, Seven Steps to Get Your Financial House in Order. So go check that out. That's today's sponsor. And our guest today is Ashley. She's is CEO of Embrace Spaces, and I'm really excited to bring her to the podcast so she can talk a little bit more about her business and what she does and how she helps people and give us some business and finance tips as well. Hi, Ashley. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Awesome. awesome. I appreciate your time today. So I would love to get into your journey and kind of where you've been and then how you got started um, with Embrace Spaces and what is that? Hi, I'm Ashley and um, Embrace Spaces is a home staging and commercial interior design company that I have recently started. And it's my passion and it's become my way to express my creativity and also get into a really good market in real estate here in Tampa. Awesome, awesome. It does take some creativity because I am a mannequin shopper, so I have no creativity. In fact, if I could buy a house that was already furnished and someone like you put it together, that would that would be the ideal situation for me. So um, you haven't always done this. Talk a little bit about where your career was prior to launching your own company. Well, when I graduated high school, I joined the army. And so for the last eight years, I have been in the army doing army things. I'm a human resource specialist by talent. It's just what I've fallen into. I'm really good at details, really good at paperwork and that kind of thing. So I love being administrative, but like I said, I wanted to do something more creative. So I have decided to end my time in service and I didn't want to just get out and continue to do the same things that I was doing in the military. I feel like now I'm at a point where I can transition into something, take a little bit more risk. Now would be the time to do those kinds of things instead of waiting, you know, five or 10 more years and not being able to take the path that I want to take. So I decided that I didn't want to work a a normal nine to five. I wanted to make money for myself and make something that I could pass down to my kids and something that they could be proud of, you know, instead of just a regular job, which there's nothing, it's just just not for me. (laughs) It was no longer the path for you. So first off, thank you for your service. Really appreciate that. And the inspiration behind, you know, being able to teach your kids too about business and entrepreneurship. So talk about how do you get your ideas when you are um, looking, um, like, where do you go to find inspiration for your creativity? So I, I'm, I consider myself old fashioned. I like to look at magazines mostly, but I know that Pinterest is a big thing. TikTok, always staying up with social media, following other creators, just seeing what they're doing and telling the different, like being able to look at a house and tell what kind of style would fit best with that property because it's not one size fits all. So even though you have an outline, you're able to move things around. And that's why I really like the home staging it's because I can go into a home with my own personal creativity, my own sense of style and set it up how I know it's going to appeal to potential buyers versus the interior design aspect of just taking somebody else's vision and then just trying to translate that. So that's why I really like home staging because I can use my own furniture and stuff like that, or I can take what somebody already has and move it and design a room in a way that is going to say, look at the space and look how it can be utilized differently. Look at the stylization and things. So Right. Like, for example, you know, I live in Miami, so you wouldn't necessarily put a log cabin type style in a Miami house or, you know, 
a Miami house probably wouldn't fit for a ranch home in Oklahoma, right? Right. It's yeah. just looking at the different concepts of, of houses that are already on the market, doing the comp, seeing what everybody else is putting out there, and then taking that idea it, making it unique to your home. So that way, when the buyer comes across or the buyer comes through for a walkthrough, they're like, wow, I looked at five houses already, but this one is so unique. It's so different. And it's styled just above what the other houses are. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So if you have, if you have any home sellers that are listening to you right now, and they're kind of debating, should I stage it or should I just leave my stuff um, I'm sure you've got some data or some statistic, like statistic information for us to share um, to help get that seller kind of off the fence and decide which route is going to be the best way for them. Right. So first, I would say, yes, hire a home stager. There's only so much that a seller can do by themselves. So I always recommend take down your personal photos, declutter, that kind of thing. Um, but for the vision, for moving the furniture and stuff like that, definitely hire a home stager. Um, I know that most homes in the area, they sell for say, like 100000 more at the end. So if you're in the comments I always get is, well, I don't want to pay, you know, I don't want to pay 2000 for a home stager. I don't want to pay the consult consultation fee. And I always recommend you're going to pay that money now, but at the end, you are going to make more. You're going to make that ROI back when you sell your house, because it's going to look professional in your photos and in your walkthroughs and stuff like that. Yeah, especially for someone who, like like me, is not creative. I can walk into a house and see how this space could be best utilized. <clears throat> and so you're talking about it, it's not a fee and explaining that to the clients. It's not a fee. It's an investment. You're investing so that you can get a better return at the end of the day. So that's awesome. Yeah, that was spot on. And then another thing is, well, I get sellers that say, I'm just going to take all my stuff out. I'm going to leave my house blank. That. That's not um, catering to the buyer's imagination. It's not, you want them to be able to walk into your home and look around and say, wow, I can really visualize myself living here. Like I've fallen in love with the atmosphere because you have those belongings. You have that warmth and that energy by stylizing and by do moving your furniture and artwork and, and everything that's incorporated into home staging. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. So that's some really good tips. I appreciate that. Um, I like to end the podcast with a fun question. So my fun question for you is if you could have any super talent or superpower, what would that be? And why would you want that? If I could have a superpower, I, in, I instantly know I would do teleport teleportation. Mm -hmm. And that's because I am a traveler. I love to travel. I always want to go places, but you know, can't always get there. So if I can just teleport one place to the next, that's where I'll be. <laughs> that would be Moving awesome. The vacation much cheaper and faster than the current travel. Right. Awesome. Awesome. So embrace spaces. If a client is listening to us right now and they want to reach out to you, um, talk about what areas you serve in Florida and also um, how they get in contact with you. Right now, I'm mainly in the Tampa Bay area, but I do also go towards St. Pete Clearwater, and then I also do near Brandon and out that way as well. If they want to schedule a free consultation, they can go to my website, embracespaces.com. You can also find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram at Embrace Spaces. Awesome, awesome, Ashley. I appreciate your time today giving us information on how to make your dollars go further if you're looking to sell your home. And that is the end of the episode, Empower Her Money podcast. Check us out again as we continue to empower women in their businesses and provide business and money tips to our audience. Thank you so much.